Hello, expert mathematician. Let's look at our I can statement. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Ready? I am learning to model and solve story problems to 10. Hmm. Let's look at that for a moment. I am learning to model and solve story problems to 10. Well, we've been talking about story problems and how to model it. And we've talked about how different mathematicians can model problems in different ways. They might model it with a drawing, numbers, tally marks. Maybe they'll use something for counters to model it. Maybe coins or buttons or something else from home. So I wanna go ahead and before I show you the story problem for today, I want us to warm up our brains. Are you ready? Okay, check this out. I want you to look carefully. What is the same? Look very carefully. What is the same? What do you notice? Do you notice? three and three here and one there. I see that there are three here and on this side and one in the middle. What else do you notice? What is the same? Did you say that there were seven on each side? Did you notice that? Well, let's see if you're right. Let's count it, ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven over here. Let's look at the blue dots, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they both do have seven set up in different ways. Nice job, boys and girls. Let's look at our next problem, ready? Ahmed had 10 fish in his fish pond. Some of the fish were orange and some of the fish were blue. How many orange fish and how many blue fish could be in the fish pond? Let's look at this problem for a moment. Now I wanna point out some key words in this problem. I see that there are 10 fish in the pond I know that some are orange and some are blue. We need to figure out how many fish, how many orange fish and how many blue fish could be in the fish pond. Well, if we look back at our I can statement, I'm learning to model and solve story problems to 10. And we've worked on that. We've worked on different combinations to make 10 and we practiced that in kindergarten. So what I would like to do is to show you what we're gonna be doing with this problem. We have one part and another part makes the whole. So I know there are gonna be 10 fish, but I wonder how many orange and how many blue fish there are going to be. Hmm, what can you think of? Is there, a, is there a combination to 10 that you thought of? Well, let's see. We're gonna use a tens frame to help us out. So if you look at the tens frame, we're gonna be using that as our model and a resource for math today. So sum and sum makes 10. So sum orange and sum blue makes 10. I wonder how many could be orange and how many could be blue? Let's go ahead and see. What if we did one orange? If we did one orange fish and some blue fish makes 10, I wonder how many blue fish would be with the one orange. Can you count the spaces with me? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did you think one and nine too? Let's see if you're right. <gasps> you are right. Look carefully. There is one orange fish and nine blue fish. 
One and nine makes ten. So one and nine makes ten. Are there any other combinations that make ten? Think about it. What if we had two orange fish? How many blue fish would we need to make the ten? Look at our tens frame. I see two orange fish. How many spaces are left over? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you say two and eight? I think you're right. Let's see. Up, two, and eight makes ten. All right. So we have two different combinations. We said one and nine and two and eight. What else makes a 10? How about if we had, what if we had three orange fish? I wonder how many blue fish there would be if there are 10 fish all together. Well, let's see. I have my three orange, three and blank makes 10. Hmm, how many spaces do you see? I see three orange fish. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces. Did you think three and seven makes ten too? You're right. And you know what? You are right. What's your brain? Nice job. Check it out. Three orange fish and seven blue fish make ten. So three and seven makes ten. What if I had four orange fish? If I had four, one, two, three, four orange fish, do you know how many blue fish you would put with the orange fish to make it a 10? Look at the tens frame. I see four orange fish. Count the spaces that you see left over for the blue fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you think four and six? You are right. Four and six can make a 10 too. I wonder if there's one more combination. Did anybody think of five and five? Five orange fish and five blue fish? I thought of that also. Boys and girls, we used a tens frame to help us today with modeling, and we also were using the sentence stem, sum and sum makes 10. So using a tens frame could definitely help you out. Let's look back at our I can statement. I am learning to model and solve story problems to 10. We're gonna practice some more story problems right now, boys and girls. All right, nice job.